we go, we're losing self-control Hello and welcome again to Motionology. Moving on with the Expresso nodes in Cinema 4D. We do have this object index which we will skip for now because it's somehow related to the uh, iteration uh, operators. So we're going to leave that until we get here in this, you know, series of tutorials. And now we will talk about the point operator, which is very cool. It deals with the vertices in any polygonal object. You know, the count of the points of the or the vertices, the position of each point. And we do have this point index, which is this number right here in the attributes manager, which we can cycle through the index numbers of each and every single one of these points on this cube, for instance. If we can just select this cube and go to the points mode and go to this tab right here, structure, we're gonna select the first one, which is number zero here. This is the index number of this point and this is the position of this point. Now, when we select another one, this is number six, and this is number one, this is number seven, and this is number two, and so on and so forth. Let's go back to the objects tab here, and then let's drag this cube into Expresso. Extract the corresponding data type, which is the object. Let's connect that to the object. Now we don't have that yellow color, which was uh, telling us that there is some kind of error because we haven't connected yet any object to this point operator. Now we can uh, read out how many points that exist in this object. Let's add a result node and let's connect the point count to that result node. Now we do have eight points. All right. Now we do have this point position. Let's extract another uh, result node by holding control and dragging this result node so we can make a copy and let's connect that point position. It's going to give us this number. We're going to change this data type from real to Victor. Now we do have this Victor, which represent the position of that specific point. Let's change the index number to one, uh, which represent the point number one, which is this one. Now we do have the exact same position in our result node. To see this in action, let's delete this result node, go back to the objects tab, and then let's add a sphere, for instance. Let's make that sphere very small, and let's drag it into Expresso. Let's extract that position input and let's connect that to the position of that point. Now we can notice that this sphere has taken the position or the exact same position as this point. Let's change its color just to see it better. All right. Now, when we move that point in our object, the sphere will move along with it. This is very useful in some cases. Okay, let's undo that. But when we move the sphere itself, we're not going to be able to move it because the position of that sphere has been connected to something in the Expresso editor, so we're not going to be able to move it. It would have been cool if we can move the sphere and the vertex move along with the sphere, which is the opposite of what's going on right here. We can actually do that. Let's de disconnect that and uh, let's extract something else here, which is the point position. And let's extract the position in the output port of this sphere and let's connect that to the point position. Now when we just move the sphere 
the point will move with it, which is a very good thing if you ask me. Okay, I think this is it for the point operator. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.